All right, so this is the remains of a McDonnell Miller number 47-2 um, low water cutoff and water feeder. Uh, I've taken it apart to show you what these things look like after uh, they've been in service for, for decades. Um, there's the um, blow down valve. Uh, someone had replaced it uh, not too long ago. You can see it's nice and shiny there. And there's the, uh, the ball. Even so, this thing is pretty crusty. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the water feeder is crusted up and totally failed. Normally there'd be a strainer attached to this, but when I took it off the um, feed block here, it just broke off. It uh, it's completely rusted up. But the main reason why we had to replace this was because this pancake float in here became waterlogged. It developed a hole, the water uh, filled it, and it dropped, wouldn't float back up, and then um, shut off the, uh, the switch here, which uh, cut off the burner. So what we've done is um, we've completely removed it and instead installed a uh, probe type, hydro level low water cutoff. And we installed it on their manifold that, uh, that can be uh, special ordered and safeguard. Um, you still have to blow it down. Let's see, there's the light coming on. There we are. And uh, this valve is standard valve. You, if it starts leaking, you don't have to special order anything. That's off the shelf. Um, attaches to uh, the sight glass uh, fittings. Uh, it's very similar to a McDonnell Miller number 67. Um, you can put the uh, pigtail and uh, pressure troll here if you have to. Um, you can have this can you can attach it on this side or like we've done on, on this side. Um, this is a compression fitting again, very much like the uh, 67. I make a slight modification here with a half inch um, by half inch OD compression fitting um, uh, with a 90 to allow for uh, greater adjustments. We make our own bends. Uh, with the half inch soft half inch outside diameter copper soft copper using a um, pipe bending tool to uh, provide good uh, kink free bends. This is where the, uh, the manual bypass and the feeder mechanism was uh, hooked up to. Uh, right now we've deactivated it. Um, and the customer uh, will need to maintain the water uh, manually until we come and install a VXT. Now we have two choices on where to put the probe. In general, you want to put it here at the minimum safe level, but uh, we put it up higher because uh, this has a really funky, um, um, I guess you can call it a Harford loop, but it's, uh, what we're concerned with is if we don't keep this uh, water level high enough that this will um, um, hammer. Uh, time will tell and uh, we'll see how it comes. Again, we're, we're planning on coming back in about a month to uh, rework this uh, feed tree to a uh, McDonald, I mean uh, to a hydro level uh, VXT and see if we can get another side. There's a shot of the uh, oil burner, which we've worked on in the past. Uh, got a new motor, a fairly recent uh, new motor on there. Another side of there. Really nice bit of kit that uh, at hydro level.
what was happening is um, they had set this uh, 47.2 fairly high up. Uh, they had uh, jury rigged some sort of offset fittings to make sure this thing was uh, constantly flooded. We believe it was generating a lot of wet steam because there wasn't a lot of separation. Uh, the steam chest was uh, barely adequate to uh, separate the uh, steam and the hot water. We hope that by keeping the water level at its um, design limit that we can provide uh, much drier steam uh, with this old boiler. Again, the big concern is the uh, this uh, crazy return here. Let's see how that goes. Here's your barometric. Uh, and with the chimney designed to pull a draft through a pile of burning rocks when this was a coal-fired unit. All right, so there we go. A new 47.2 ectomy, and um, I think that's going to do a really nice job.